Hey there, YouTube. Here's a little hack to make your Toyota Prius get rid of that annoying artificial sound. So step number one, let's go ahead and open and show you what we got. Pop the hood. There we go, lift up, lever. And let's see what we got. So let's pop these four tabs. One, two, three, four. One's already missing, there's normally five, but go ahead and pop those. But before we connect or disconnect, the most important thing of all is go ahead and lock the car again and make sure that it's not um, active, so to speak, right? So to pop these, you basically don't you put don't put your screwdriver under there. Just put it under there and lift it up like that, right? So here's another one. Just put it under there and pop it like that. Leave it like that. Once you remove those, go ahead and lift this sucker out. Let's put it under there, and then we want to go right in there so that's the evil noise maker see right there that's this device right here and you can see back there the connection leading back through there so that's actually the horn apologies that's the horn the evil noise mach machine is right here so and you'll see underneath here the actual connector so let me go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit better for you okay so I know it's kind of hard to see but here you can see the device that I made and I'll show you this later in detail so it's basically an adapter with a resistor uh, and then I taped uh, electrical tape around it so the only thing I need to do is disengage this dongle uh, if you will and then plug this part back underneath uh, you can actually see it right there plug that back in there so uh, that way the car will be back to its uh, annoying noise making and when I get back from the dealership, basically unplug that, plug my dongle back in, and I'm good to go. So I'll show you how you can make this dongle yourself. Okay. So a second later, here's the dongle unplugged. There it is. So this is uh, the part you'll purchase together with the resistor. And you can just add it. And you can just plug this puppy back in before you drop it back off at the dealership and you are good to go there you go really literally seconds right uh, so let me show you let's go inside and let me show you how I made this from scratch to fool the car into thinking that it's connected to this noisemaker okay so let's have a look So in order to make the adapter, uh, I ordered some uh, 8.2 ohm resistors, you can see here. Uh, here's, I'll link the uh, description where you can order those uh, below in the video. So that's what these puppies look like. So you basically uh, bend both uh, sides of the resistor and then those uh, go into the housing. Now I already have, I only purchased one housing so I can't show you, I'll show you a picture or uh, a video of it. The hardest part of the project was to insert these two uh, parts of the uh, resistor into the uh, housing. So I had to uh, use a lot of force to basically align those properly with the pins and then insert it. And then I, like you saw in the picture, I wrapped uh, electric tape around it. So it's very easy to uh, to create this and, and this resistor is basically to fool the uh, system into thinking that uh, there's the, 
the uh, UFO noisemaker is, uh, is right here in between, so you're not getting a fault uh, or error code on your dash. Okay, hope that helps. Maybe I'll make a separate project a video around how to make this uh, this one. Hope you liked it, and no more weird UFO sound. Take care. Here on top you can see the website, www.corsa-technic.com. And at the bottom of the page here, you can see the OAM number, the part number. So good luck ordering that and making that. It's not too difficult. And good luck getting rid of that annoying noise. <laughs>